ST40 is an incredibly exciting project. It's a tokamak that's got a potential to really wake up the fusion community on the advances and, and benefits of spherical tokamaks. My name is Bill Huang and I'm a senior tokamak engineer. So I do a variety of different work, so that's one of the benefits of a small company. And I'm doing a lot of electrical engineering and a bit of mechanical engineering. Contributing on the testing of various things, I've used this pulse power supply to do testing on sensors, on different instruments that go inside the tokamak. We can actually use this pulse power supply to generate a large magnetic field up to one Tesla in the space of 10, 20 milliseconds. Fire. As the two large currents flow in opposite directions, they repel each other. And because these are flexible braids, you can see the movement as the braids do this and move away from each other due to that current. I'm doing this to test the electrical resistances. I'm holding here a mock-up of the flexible joint on the TF and this is uh, two pieces of copper with a flexible bit of copper. This will eventually carry 250,000 amps. The real piece will be a bit longer, about this long. What I'll do is I'll attach it up to this power supply over here and pulse large amounts of current through and measure the voltages across different points. And by measuring the voltage and knowing the current that's going through, then you can get the resistance. Joint resistance gives you an idea of the quality of the joint. So in this fabrication, it's been soldered and we need to know that it's been soldered correctly and that there's good electrical contact. If the resistance is much higher than we expect, then that leads to deterioration, to degradation and heating over time. And essentially it can get to the point where it becomes a fuse and, 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 and burns. So we need to make sure that those joint resistances are as low as possible. Tokamak needs to move because there are tremendous forces inside. Down in the centre of the, the centre stack, we have something like 200 tonnes per metre on the centre stack. These are gigantic forces and we have lots of other forces in other directions. And also, we're going to be cooling the Tokamak limbs down to 77 Kelvin. And there are going to be big temperature rises and with the different temperature rises, things will just want to move around. The big forces that are produced are due to the toroidal field magnet. That's the most powerful magnet inside the tokamak and that can go up to three tesla at 40 centimetres from the middle and actually on the surface of the centre stack it's more like nine tesla. I can't wait to see the machine running and see everything all operational and getting the results that we're hoping to achieve. <laughs>